Dodge. Today what we're going to do is we're going to show you that you can take an 8 horsepower gasoline engine. On a lot of uh, YouTube videos and stuff like that you'll find that guys will use 3.5 horsepower um, motors or 5 horsepower motors with a balloon or whatever to show you on hydrogen that they can get it to run. What we want to do today is show you that we can get an 8 horsepower engine to run power. So what we're doing is this is a load and you can see we've got a bigger pulley over here and smaller reduction pulleys here for the alternators. We're still working on that but as you can see we have a hydrogen system set up and we built a manifold courtesy of Brad from Midas. He built the manifold for us and what this manifold entails is two inputs. We're only using one right now because I'm too poor to afford two flash arresters and my wife gets upset when I blow up the house so I can only run one flash arrestor right now. But what we're doing right now is we're going to start up the motor and show you on gasoline how long this thing will run with a load on it. So what we have is a switch for the tack, one for the alternator one, two, and three. To load them up, turn them on, turn them off, turn them back on. The light of my tank is burnt out. Okay. Anyway, that's the voltage we're setting at is about 12, 7, 12, 6, whatever. We're going to start up on gasoline now, and we'll see how long it runs. If uh, Bert and Anthony are ready to hit the timer, and I'll tell you when to start it once it's running, and I'll we'll shut off the fuel. So we're going to get it started, and then we're going to shut off the fuel. Now, what I'm going to do to shut off the fuel is I'm just going to click this lever over. And the further part of the video, I'm actually going to put a set of crimps on here and shut off the gas line to prove to everybody that it's actually running on hydrogen without the fuel line connected so so now we're running on gasoline I'm getting the throttle for a second oh actually let's take it as you can see our voltage is jumping around a little bit because the alternators are trying to produce power voltage is now coming up a little bit as it's been running for a bit. So we're running about 12, 13. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shut off the fuel. We're going to see how long it runs. While it's running down, we're going to explain a little bit what's going on. These are two tall switch modulators. And what they do is they control the amount of current that goes to each one of the hydrogen cells. Two hydrogen cells, one with the pulse with modulator. And what happens is the alternators are actually charging this battery, which goes over to this battery by jumper cables. Very ghetto, we're working on it. But each pulse with modulator is hooked up to its own battery. So right now what we have is this one running the, the big, I call the 10 amp cell, but this, one, this cell here is probably pulling about 23 amps. The smaller one on the other side, which is connected to here, We'll show you in a minute once we get them running. As you can see, our ghetto switches are turned off for the hydrogen. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to run it until it runs out of gas. We'll refill up the flow pole, start it on hydrogen and gasoline together, shut off the gas, hit the timer see how long it will run just strictly on hydrogen and gas.
trash running pretty long, so it's usually some time. It's going to be hard to beat. Okay, so the power is still on. What we're going to do is we're going to start it back up. Our voltage just dropped back down to 12.5. It's up because they've been running for a bit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the float bowl. Shut off the fuel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the two hydrogen cells. And what's happening is right now, this electricity comes into the hydrogen cell, splits, makes the hydrogen come back up, go into the two bubblers, from the bubblers down through the flash arrestor. to the cells, which are producing the hydrogen. I'm shutting off the trope so that it's running primarily more hydrogen. And what it does is it makes the fuel run longer. It makes it more efficient. Actually, you can tell with the way the motor's running, it's running too rich.
this. The time don't hit, uh, hit stop now. Go for it. Now, I'm going to actually try and restart it with the fuel shut off.